This video was brought to you by Wondershare Filmora. If you didn't know, YouTube Shorts are essentially YouTube's version of TikTok. So vertical video, under a minute, typically funny and snappy. A little while ago, I said that I wanted to start making more shorts for my channel. So today, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be filming a fun, lighthearted short, and then I'm going to show you how I put it together in Filmora 10. And if you want, you can also stick around for some additional tips. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, so now I've got a bunch of different takes to work with, and yeah, let's just start editing them. And boom, here we are on the opening screen. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually pretty easy to miss if you're used to just jumping right in with a new project. But what you're going to want to do is go to the project aspect ratio menu right here. You're gonna to wanna to click it and you're gonna to wanna to go down and select nine by 16 or portrait mode. And once that is in place, you can just go ahead and click on new project. And then if I just drag down a white screen real quick, you can see that our canvas is indeed set to portrait mode, uh, which is perfect for editing vertical video. So past this point, it is pretty straightforward. You import your footage into the media library right here. Uh, I just dragged in my footage from a folder in another monitor. Once your footage is in the media library, you can start cutting it up and placing it in the timeline, which I am going to assume that you know how to do. And if you don't, uh, you can check out any of the two Filmora beginners guides that I currently have up on my channel. Uh, the links for that will be in the description down below. But yeah, in the interest of saving time, let's just jump ahead real quick. And boom, here is the timeline for my completed short. And yeah, let's just take a quick look at what we've got. Okay, so I was Googling my name because that's what normal people do, right? They Google their own name out of sheer curiosity as if anything will pop up. But yeah, I was looking it up and guess what I found? All right, so that's as much as I'm going to show. I've got my main A roll right here. It's just uh, the clips where I'm talking. And then I also have a few cutaways on top of the footage. So in this case, it's just a cutaway to uh, my Google search, but you can see that I am still speaking in the background. But yeah, once I'm happy with my short, I can just go ahead and export it. Make sure the quality is set to best, bam, bam, and there we go. All right, so that was my YouTube short, and it can be applied to just about any other form of vertical video, whether it's TikTok or IGTV or Reels or whatever. Literally, the most important thing is to just set your canvas to portrait mode, uh, but let's say that you're editing a regular widescreen video, and you want to include vertical video, but you don't want to have those giant black bars on either side. Well, here's where my extra tip comes in. All right, so here we are in a new project, and as you can see, uh, the canvas is set to 16 by nine, which is widescreen. And if I import a vertical clip and drag it into the timeline, in this case, I'm going to want to keep project settings. You can see the black bars on either side, obviously a little distracting. We don't want that. You're gonna want to go over to effects, and you're gonna wanna go down to this folder right here, which is background blur. As you can see, we've got a bunch of different options. In this case, I'm just gonna choose a basic blur, and I'm going to drag it on top of the clip, extend it out to the end. And just like that, we've got a nice professional looking background blur. Obviously it's based off of the colors of the clip itself. I also like this gray grid option. There are also a bunch of other really interesting options to choose from. For example, this one called Ripple. And as you can see, it just takes the background and instead of blurring it or converting it to black and white, it just adds a watery ripple. Uh, so depending on what you need for your specific project, Filmora should have you covered, though I will say that you can never go wrong with the basic blur. All right, so the short that I made for this video went up on my channel at exactly the same time, uh, so feel free to check it out. I also recently started a side channel exclusively for shorts. I'm still experimenting with it. At the moment, it's really just some of my TikToks and random clips that I found on my phone, you know, stuff that wouldn't really fit on my main channel. I don't really know where it's going to go, but if you're interested, feel free to subscribe. It's fine either way, no hard feelings. So the shorts channel will just be random stuff, uh, but I do obviously plan to continue posting short videos on my main channel as well. Let me know what you're interested in seeing. They could be mini tutorials, mini short films, or skits. Just let me know. I need ideas, and I do want it all to fit nicely with what I am currently doing on this channel. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm gonna finish editing this video and get it posted, all of that fun stuff. So yeah roll the outro. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. Check out the short linked in the description down below. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.